Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, August 6th, the day after Smy's birthday and the day before we get to go to Great Wolf Lodge tomorrow. Woohoo! Um, it's actually already the evening, it's a little after 5 o'clock. We've just been hanging out at home, me and the girls. JB's been gone all day at different meetings that he's had throughout the day. Um, right now, I'm just going to be unloading the dishes and loading the dishwasher. My house is a disaster once again. Well, it always is a disaster, but <laughs> anyways, I like to at least try to keep up with the dishes. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to be working on unloading and Mr. Diesel's hanging out with me. Are you hanging out with Mommy Diesel? Yeah. Yes, you are. You're hanging out with Mommy in the kitchen. <coughs> Yeah, I think so too. You tell him. You tell him. What do you think, kiddo? Huh? All right, done with the dishes. Now into the family room, which is, um, I guess. Well, my office is the messiest room downstairs, but this is the next messiest. <laughs> Just from the party yesterday, so we have. The girls bring down their toys all the time down here, even though we tell them not to. So I got stuff all over, you know, like the boxes and all that good, all that good jazz. And you know, having Diesel's baby toys and stuff, or just like things you set them in, doesn't help. Like, I have the jump roof, I have a mat, I have a chair over there. But anyways, picking up. Does anyone else do this? I always save all the gift bags and the tissue paper. So the girls were outside, but now they've come in. I'm feeding Diesel his bottle, and this is what they're doing while I'm doing that. They're bouncing on the big ball. Whoa! I told the girls, they each got these big balls that Amara bought them. She bought one for Samaya for her birthday, and then bought one for herself with her own money when we went to the store. And I told them about this, how you hold the ball in between your feet, and you lower it, and then your arms, and lower it, and then put them in between your feet, lower your feet. <laughs> Is it hard, you girls? No. It's not? It's not hard for me. <laughs> now they're doing some form of push-ups on the balls. So easy. <laughs> it's easy? Yeah. All yeah. you have to do is this. It's tough. Well, because you're just nodding your head. You're not actually. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. What? How are we gonna do it? Okay, we're gonna do it. Whoa! Oh, ow. Mom, when you meditate, do you, do you float into the sky? When you meditate, do you float into the sky? I don't think so. All right, I was getting dinner ready for the girls. This is what they're eating. Amara has chicken and a plate full of strawberries. And Samaya has a tamale and strawberries. The tamale and chicken both come from um, the sh a guy that delivers food um, through Schwann's. I think it's nationwide. Not sure though, but I get a few things from them once in a while. And these are two items that I just got from them. So that's what they're having for dinner. This is so this is how, well, oh, close up, hello. This is how dinner usually works at my house. Everyone has their own thing. We normally don't sit down for a sit down meal. It's one of those things that I would love to do. And Amara loves it when mommy sits down and eats with them and all that good stuff. So when we can, we do it. When we can't, we don't. And it's not a big deal. We all still love each other. <laughs> right, Amara? Yeah, right. Just came outside, go for a little walk with Pinky. She's been peeing in the house on the floor. Thank goodness we replaced our floor with um, wood floor so it's easy to clean up instead of with carpet. But I'm just trying to give her a little bit more attention and take her for more walks. Since Diesel was born, 
I do feel like we probably, <laughs> sadly, but probably have neglected her a little bit. So it's a good way for me to get my exercise. One thing she does though, like at every single house, she has to like mark her territory. It's like the craziest thing. It's like, you are not a boy dog. You are a girl dog. You should not have to do that. But I think, I guess they say that if they fix them at too young of an age, um, that sometimes they can be confused like that. So that may be what had happened. I wanted to show you guys the flowers that my sister got you after they bloomed. They look gorgeous. I ended up putting them, um, not in my front entryway, but over here. Amar actually helped me clean this room and get it all looking beautiful. And it even has my favorite flower lilies in the middle. But they look perfect on this table.